Salam, hello, it's Rick Lambroff once again from Tahiri Exchange, Commodity and Currency Analyst at uh, the Tahiri Exchange. I want to follow up with this week's interesting, supposedly stimulus injection that we were supposed to have this week that was supposed to prop the markets and ironically it did. For our buyers of the US dollar, you obviously are getting great rates since Wednesday. And the main reason for that is that on Tuesday and Wednesday, Ben Bernanke was speaking to the Senate about the monetary policy report and his little injections of possible stimulus injection in the market gave the market a boost and even though he didn't give a timeline, the market reacts very sensitively and anything he states, the market will react. And what happened in this situation was that he said that there might be stimulus injection, didn't know when, but that caused the US dollar to fall and we saw it fall on Wednesday, going on to Thursday. But ironically today, twist of events, we have today downgrades by uh, a rating agency called Egan and Spain was downgraded. And some of the banks were downgraded as well, which caused the US dollar today to rise up higher. Today was an, another interesting day as well. Not only did the US dollar strengthen, but we also saw oil rise. And the reason why oil rose today, since the last uh, time that it rose in May 4th, was because of the Strait of Hormuz. Now apparently in Iran, uh, the story was that uh, some of the MPs have agreed to, uh, agreed to make a closure for the Strait of Hormuz. If this is correct and it's not a rumor, then obviously price of oil is going to rise again. But right now, that's what we saw the rise for today. The reason why we see, we've seen a fall in oil the past couple of weeks, if not further, is because of demand. There's a lot of supply, but a weak demand. And that weak demand is affecting a lot of countries relating to oil supply. And of course, Canada, Iran, Russia, they all produce good amounts of oil there. Uh, now, regarding precious metals, we saw today, again, precious metals falling through with the uh, strength of the equity markets because of Ben Bernanke possibly talking about uh, an injection stimulus. But then again, we saw the US dollar rise today, and then we saw the precious metal rising with that as well. And that all came along with the markets are looking at another safe haven investment, not only US dollar, but they jump to precious metals. And of course, protecting their hedge against inflation. Overall, for buyers, you've had a great week and you continually will have that great week, uh, maybe going on to next week. But we saw the US dollar CAD drop down to the 1.0070 support level, which I called, and it went down to 1.0064. The question is next week, will it fall further south or will it rise higher? Today it went up higher, went back into the 101.24 range. So we may see the end to the great buying rates that we saw going on to next week. And it all depends on the key US data or key European data. For all my buyers and sellers, like I said before, if you're selling US, you want your money to be a little bit above parity, so you're getting a little more back. And if you're buying US, you want to pay a little less in your Canadian dollar to get more. Overall, the markets are very choppy. They will continue to be choppy even until the US election. And that's what's going to happen is the US election is going to determine every time historically, whenever there's a US election, we see more, uh, you know, we usually see commodity prices drop. We see a stronger possibly US dollar. And then we start seeing the market starting to correct itself going into the following year. The question is now, how much will the central banks uh, affect the market and manipulate the market? Let's put it this way. So will the Fed inject stimulus at the end of the summer or will they not inject, uh, inject stimulus uh, after the end of the summer? Will it be after the elections? This is all the trends that we're looking at now. But overall, if you want great rates, you want a good analysis of the market, feel free to call us at Tahiri Exchange. We're always looking to hear from our clients, especially a lot of our Persian clients, and call us at Tahiri Exchange.